Hey there, music fans. Welcome back to The Real Music Observer. My name is Dave, and yes, observing real music in real time for real people. Today, I'm going to talk about John Kane's solo album, Jonathan Kane from Journey. Released an album a number of months ago that he's been plugging and promoting on Twitter. The album is called uh, What God Wants to Hear. And I gotta tell you, it's kind of like a cross between Bad English and Phillips, Craig, and Dean. Now, if you don't know who Phillips, Craig, and Dean are, I get that. Uh, I have some Christian music street cred as I spent a number of years at a Christian radio station called WNEB up in Worcester, Massachusetts. And then on another station called Mix 90.1 FM. And uh, we played Christian music all day and all night, and yours truly had a radio show. Uh, I forget what I called myself back then. I did have like this radio name. David J is what I was known as. Took, took me a minute, and it's pretty sad, but that's what I was when I was uh, in the Christian radio biz. So I got a little bit of Christian music uh, credibility here. I can name a few artists. Uh, I do listen to it from time to time, but I'm still a classic rock guy uh, at heart. A lot of the Christian music today sounds very cookie cutter and very formulaic. Uh, and uh, this album, though, by Jonathan Cain does not fall into that category. In fact, I didn't know this, but Jonathan Cain actually had Dean Castronovo play drums on every song. So we hear the Beast drummer kind of uh, toned down and uh, playing a little more like Steve Smith than uh, like himself. But that's cool. That's fine. Uh, I'm really digging the music. Uh, there are a lot of songs on here. Deeper Than Deep is the first one that'll grab you. Uh, Bold in Prayer, Rush Into Me, Have Your Way With Us. I mean, they're all good stuff. And Kane himself, like I say, he's he's vocally, he's better than you think he's going to be on this project. His voice has a certain tonality to it, uh, and I'm not going to say it's an acquired taste or anything like that, but it's different. It's a it's a tad nasal at times, but it's also deep and resonating as well. Uh, definitely smooth vocally. Uh, he's not cracking, he's not sounding as if he's straining. Uh, he sounds very strong vocally. It may be mostly that I've never heard Kane sing solo, so when you hear him it's a little bit different. Um, this album, in case you didn't know, if you want to bring the rest of the current lineup of Journey into this, this lineup was endorsed by three out of four members of Journey. Steve Smith, Ross Valerie, and of course himself, Jonathan Kane. <laughs> so you'd say three out of four. Uh, no, I'm sorry, and Arnell. Arnell actually endorsed it, so I was kind of right. Three out of four. So Arnell and Steve Smith and Ross Valerie all endorsed this album. They do a promo for it, so it's very cool. Uh, and they really seem to truly and genuinely get the music and like it. Now, if you're not into Christian music or you just don't want to hear this stuff, I get that. But if you're even remotely a little bit interested in what Kane sounds like, and I think he's, you know, he, he realizes he's using his platform to kind of spread the word, <clears throat> uh, pun intended. Uh, and that's what I think is cool about this. And for all of those people who think Jonathan Cain has been completely in your face about this religion thing, he, he actually really hasn't. Yeah, he promotes it on Twitter. He'll retweet. He'll, you know, be thankful when someone else says, hey, I listened to your music and I was really blessed by it and so forth. He's, he's really not doing anything more than promoting his album and his faith. Not necessarily in that order, by the way. Uh, so, it's to me, it's it's a win-win if you like this kind of music, and if you like Journey or Bad English or Phillips Craig and Dean or piano-based Christian-style music. Uh, 
Kane is classically trained and he shows it off here. And Dean Castronovo is playing drums. So even if you just want it for your gotta have everything Journey's ever done collection, this is one to have. Again, the album, God, What God Wants to Hear, uh, it's been available now for quite some time. Of course, you can check it out on YouTube or on iTunes and support Jonathan Cain uh, for no other reason that this is a really good cause. You know what I'm saying? So in any event, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Dave, and this is The Real Music Observer, and we'll be back observing real music again real soon, wherever that lens is.